Hi, my name's Damien Cooley, Director and Auctioneer at Cooley Auctions. Bidding at auction can be a very daunting experience. So making sure that you're prepared for auction day is extremely important. Some basic steps that you can implement to be prepared for auction day are to familiarise yourself with the terms and conditions of auction. In New South Wales, for rural and residential property, bidders must be registered to bid. So make sure you bring your driver's licence at the time of registration. And if you don't have your driver's licence, please refer to our ID checklist available on our website. If you are unable to attend the auction, or if you'd prefer to have somebody bid on your behalf at the auction, then you can either give that person a power of attorney, or you are able to download the relevant bidding authority from our website. The two most important questions, if somebody else is going to be bidding at the auction for you, are who will be signing the contract and how will I be paying the deposit? Ordinarily, the deposit required is 10% of the purchase price. And if somebody else is going to be bidding for you, you can authorise the auctioneer to sign the contract on your behalf. But it's very important that you have the answer to both of those questions prior to bidding. And it's pre-arranged with the marketing agent. If you are bidding on behalf of a company, it's extremely important that that letter of authority is on company letterhead. The identification of the company will be the ABN number and make sure that the company authorises the correct person to execute the contract on behalf of the company. Buyers often ask the question, what is the best strategy to implement when bidding at auction? I find that many buyers strategize too much and understand that every auction is different it's important that you bid with confidence, get into the bidding early, bid in odd increments, attempt to put the auctioneer off with odd numbers. This will give you a competitive advantage. It will also show your competition that you are serious, that you are there to purchase the property at any cost. When you are considering how much you will pay for the property, buyers often set themselves a limit. It is important that if you do set yourself a limit, that you have some flexibility with that limit. Too often, I've seen buyers miss out on properties for $1,000, $5,000 or $10,000 when if they just extended themselves that little bit further, I have no doubt that they would have secured the home. Every buyer has a limit and your role, if you are there to purchase, is to find out what your competitors are prepared to pay. There are two figures that you may hear during an auction. One is a vendor's or seller's bid, and the other is a written reserve price. A seller's bid is often used to encourage purchasers to compete at the auction. So it may be used to actually start the bidding. Other times, it may be used during the bidding process, where the bidding may stop a long way from the written reserve price and the seller's bid is used to encourage you then to bid above that figure. The reserve price is obviously a figure at which the owner will sell the property for. And in some cases, an agent may come up and speak with you during the auction. They may ask you to increase your own bid. And if they do that, it's because the bidding has stopped at a price where the owner will not sell the property for. So if you would like to purchase, then you will need to increase. We always hope that there is flexibility from the purchaser and flexibility from the seller. Ultimately, you are there to bid with confidence and show your competitors that you're there to purchase at any cost. Auctions are the most transparent way of selling real estate. As a purchaser, you can see who you're competing against. You can watch the body language of the purchasers. You can feel their emotions and ultimately, you can set the best bidding strategy which will secure the home for you. Please check out our website for more buyer resources.